Solar panels is something we discussed a few months ago when Harry got them installed on his roof. I went for the, shall we say, budget, almost off the shelf. Fixed price, just buy the panels, buy the inverter, goes on anybody's roof. Whereas he went down the more premium installer route, so to speak, where they designed the system around the house, the location, which way it's pointing, where in Yorkshire. So it's not just a case of whack anything on the roof. This was tailored, so the panels were for this area, or at least they're better suited to this area. The inverters, again, better suited to the fact that we're in Yorkshire and the sun does shine for one week of the year. So effectively, he spent more, but he should generate more. So I'm, I'm better at the starting point, but ultimately it's going to tip over. At least that's what we think. So we've got some preliminary data in terms of his generation, my generation, like a heat pump. It's designed for the house and to a lesser extent, so should these in theory. So that's what we're going to look at anyway, to see if spending more saves you more. Right, as I said, we've got some data for the last few months. So it's just kind of like a, a first look. Um, we've got a lot of people asking us about this at fully charged live shows as well as online so we thought we'd do a bit of a catch up sooner rather than later and uh, this is not scientific of course but given our houses both east west similar location we're just a few miles apart same elevation it's close enough to kind of point us in the direction of whether or not it is worth that extra so let's go inside and see if it's the case right so I want to be very clear here that Again, this is not scientific, and ultimately it is a sponsored video by Heatable, who you got your solar panels yep. from as an actual customer. So that's before any sponsor started. But Heatable are sponsoring this, and big thank you to them, because they installed solar panels whilst my brother was ill, and that's the whole reason of doing this sponsorship that we're doing with them. So, again, to be very clear, they are not controlling the content. The data is the data. We're saying what it is. We're not going to make it look good or anything like that. So if, Hopefully for them it looks good. Yeah, because <laughs> if you don't have you know, expected better generation or predicted yeah. generation, then obviously we are going to tell you that. Um, they're also doing fixed battery installs. They are. And if you wanted something like, a, I don't know, a Give Energy All-in-One, and <laughs> not that I'm, you? I'm not biased in that at all working for them, uh, but that's the battery you got. That's the battery I got. About six months before I joined Give Energy. Fixed price, here you go. I think it's just uh, £7,000 and they do not send finance as well. So have nice a look at it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Have a look at Heatable and as an actual customer, you're happy? Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So that's the best we could do. Thank you to them for sponsoring the channel. Let's get on with this and see if this premium install Let's have a look at the data. Out. Yes, because we have been kind of keeping up with each other, haven't we? But ultimately trying to hold a bit It's back. like a bit like top chumps, isn't it? <laughs> each day we'll just go, what did you do? What did you do? Yes. Mine does better when it's very sunny. Yeah. Yours does better in lower light. So that's essentially part of the design uh, that we've been talking about and what Heatable specifically said. Now, when it comes to the actual REA panels, if you want to know more details about them, watch the previous video. I'll put a link to that in the description where I actually talked to Heatable about the panels in, in more detail as to, you know, by facial, yeah. all that stuff and why they're meant to be better. I've got a better top end, as you we said. Have. You've got a better... Um, True. It's Lower end. Yeah, I, yeah. I've got a VTEC Honda engine and you've got a turbo diesel. Yeah. You've got a Sprinter. I've got a, a marathon runner. <laughs> you live in Yorkshire. You know, you're not going to get bright sunshine enough to justify not very it. Not much at all, really. No, so let, we're basing the panels and the inverters Important on... Important that, the inverters as well. Yeah, the inverters are a big part of this. Uh, but we're basing that on the fact that you've got uh, an east-west facing yeah. house in Yorkshire. It's sunny for about a week of the year. <laughs> yeah. They're the same, we've tailored this to the worst month, yeah. uh, worst weather, or not the worst weather, the poorer the, weather, yeah. which we usually get, and the greyer days. When I looked at it, I'm going, but, because they have put smaller inverters on there to make it more efficient, I'm going, I'm not getting the maximum out of the panels. Yes. They're going, oh, just just hold on, yeah. you will get the maximum out of the panels <laughs> yeah. in your scenario. Yes, so it's a, it, it's the year-round average, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So the what the panels four hundred and thirty watt. I think. Yeah, I think four thirty and the inverters are three hundred and fifty watt. I think so. Um, so ultimately, in bright bright sunshine. Yeah. 
you will get above what I, those inverters can do. So the panels can do two more. Point, two point eight, I'm getting. Yeah. So it's, it's like having do... a buffer in an engine. It's like it, it's like in your rev limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So therefore, the idea behind that is is that these inverters can activate, as oh, they call a it, a lot less wattage, at lower yeah voltage, wattage, yeah. whatever. So in seven or eight months of the year, they're going to activate a lot sooner than mine. Yeah, mine, which will give me that bit enough load yeah. to cover the base. So again, it's it's, it's the marathon, isn't it? We're yeah. looking at here, not just the peak in summer, which most people concentrate on. Um, so that's kind of the system design we're talking about. But we're and I guess it's going to be different if you live down south on the south coast. You're probably going to want the bigger inverters. My brother, bigger inverters. Yeah, part of this sponsor yeah. has got the same panels as you. I think it's slightly higher rated, uh, but he's. Down south, yeah, yeah, with a south-facing roof. So they designed the that. best of everything. Yeah, yeah. So they yeah, designed yeah. his system yeah. for, for for peak sunshine. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to get it far more than lower so sunshine. It's not just you pick it off a shelf and stick it in. Which is it? what I did. Yeah. So yeah. I got a cheaper install, and there's nothing wrong with that per se. But I, I think if I could go back in time, like I did with the heat pump, it's all about the design. Is isn't it, it? I guess it's a bit like getting a heat pump without getting a heat engineer to come to, desi to design yeah. it first and yeah say, right, you, you, we'll get yeah. this one we'll stick that in there you go you're on your way you might look out but effectively if you look at a fixed price solar install good value yeah but it's the everywhere, same for where yeah, yeah north, uh, not north south facing west facing east yeah. facing down south up north it's the same, same installation everywhere and yet if you tailor it to the environment more and the house logically you should get a little bit here a little bit there a little yeah. bit there it's probably also worth pointing out that I've got the, uh, I think they're called P-type panels. You've got top con N-type panels. So the degradation over 25, yeah, yeah. so oh, this yeah, is yeah. 25 yeah. years warranty, I think. So the, the lifespan is beyond that. So over 25 years. The drop off is very yeah, minimal. Mine will degrade, I think 10 to 20% more than yours. Yeah. So this is, again, this is something we can't possibly see here now. But in 20 years time, watch this yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, watch this space. <laughs> But ultimately, yes, yeah, so that, that's got to be factored in as well. You yeah. should be generating more in five years' time, ten years' yeah. time, than, than I will be by that point. So there's a lot to factor in, but it's all about, again, we're not saying that the, the better panels are going to generate more. Of course they are. The more expensive yeah. panels are going to do that. It's the designer behind it that costs more money, yeah. like anything. Yeah, yeah. You get someone to design you a, a, a computer network. It's supposed to just buying it from Amazon and whacking it in. it in there. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be running better. Yeah. We've got pretty much three full months worth yeah. of data, or at least the same sort of time. I have 4.48 kilowatts of theoretical maximum generation. Okay, 4.48. Yep. You've got 3.44 kilowatts. Yep. So therefore, I have got 26%, I think it is, bigger array. So I should generate more. That's forget the inverters. Yeah. As an, yeah. As an array yeah, size. My, yeah, my inverters are clipping or anything. So that's purely panels. Yeah. As we said, your inverters are actually lowering Lower, that yeah. to 2.8. 2.8, yeah. So in theory, you can only max out at 2.8 odd yeah. kilowatts, and I can go to 4.4. All right, okay. If okay. everything was running. <laughs> if everything was running. So my point is, I should be higher. Oh, a lot. Across the board. Yeah. So the best day generation on the... Duller months, yeah. It, yeah. Again, we're, we're picking the worst time of year for this, aren't we? With yeah. sunnier days, uh, was thirtieth of March, and I generated thirteen point one five kilowatts. So kilowatt hours. On Sorry. that same day, I did sixteen point zero. Sixteen point zero one. So sixteen. So you got. F so that's twenty percent more. I I did yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've got a 25% bigger array. So my best day was the 24th, and I got 16.13. 12.58. Yeah. I mean, it's worth saying as well that for the entire... So I, I had a, the last week in March, I had the array on, and I generated 101 kilowatt hours. In the entirety of March, I generated 191 kilowatt hours. So for one week, I did... Half, roughly half of what you've done. Over, in, over half. half of what you've done. Of what in I did the entire, in the entire month. Point six four, point nine one on the 9th and tenth of March. Yours should be. Well, it's like what you said off camera. If, if 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 on those days, if I got if you got a kilowatt and I get two, I've doubled. Yeah. For those days. But I've got the bigger array. Yeah. Right. So the most I've generated in the month of June was twenty one point six kilowatt hours. And that was on the 22nd of June. So 22nd, 21.38. So it's basically the same. same. And this is what we're talking about in terms of 
I mean, I mean, I, I should be twenty so percent ahead. What you did, I think, in that day is, if the day's there, you've generated in that section the there pipe, maximum, yeah, yeah. where I've generated less across more of the day. And remember, we're based on that twenty six percent bigger array that you've got on your panels. Not you could go the off what the inverters outcome. are capping you've out. You've got quite a two point eight. I've probably thirty odd percent bigger array. Yeah. Yeah. On some of these days, I'm, I'm outpacing your Oh, your you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I should be because I've got much bigger Big array, but mine are performing better because I can take advantage of the... Uh, Direct sunlight. The, the, the really tiny, strong yeah. sun. But even then, yeah. I'm basically doing a little bit better when I should be higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what's the total for June for yours so far? Total for June is 390, 391, give or take. And I've got 440, give or take, kilowatt hours. Yeah. So I've... I'm generating ten percent more on the sunnier days. You are. Even though my array again is twenty percent bigger. So during summer, this is the worst this is time, the worst time to, for yeah, me for you to, yeah. to, 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 to see if it's worked. If, once we've got twelve months, that, that's the ultimate goal for this, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that that yeah. we can see the full year. And over that twelve months, if you factor in the difference in sizes, I think you will be generating possibly more than me, even though my array is much yeah. bigger. I think I think overall, yeah. I, I th so 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 far, and again, it's not scientific, is it? But it's it does seem to like make sense, yeah, doesn't it? It's looking it, like what's in the in the brochure mm. is is performing as it should do. Especially when I've got a full electric house, the heat pump, all that sort yeah, of stuff, yeah, yeah. and I want more generation in the darker, colder months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mine is the is the is the old peak in it. During the day, during the afternoon, I get a lot. During the summer, I get a yeah, lot. Yeah. Yours is more of a gentle curve. It is, yeah, yeah, throughout the year. Yeah, so I'm really interested to get to the November, December dates. That's so going to be really We will good. do, obviously, a follow-up for that, but so far, then, I would say that it, 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 it's, it's, it's valid yeah, in yeah. terms of spending more. I mean, looking at it, like you said, there's, there's days where, especially this time of year, where you are producing more, but you're not producing the numbers that you would expect not that, in, yeah. compa in comparison, are you? Not compared to the size of the array difference. No. I mean, I think that's the thing that people need to really remember, which is why I keep mentioning it at 2.88 kilowatts or whatever that, that your inverter maximum yeah. is i've got a, a third bigger array at least yeah. and yet you, we're, we're still quite I'm barely close. beating you yeah. and on some days you're beating me so the micro inverters you've got are clearly having a, a good effect in yeah, yeah. the uh, when the when the sun starts to come out on the yeah, duller yeah, days yeah. i mean it's great today as well i would probably go back in time if i could and change and spend more money yeah it never occurred to me. You just think that like, solar panels are solar panels. Yeah, yeah. And so then I'll get a solar yeah. panel. There you go. Off the shelf. It does yeah. this. But you don't necessarily think of the other bits and pieces. Well, no, the inverters. Put the puzzle together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, micro inverters, uh, hybrid inverter, AC coupled inverter. Yeah. Now I've done, now I'm doing the job I'm doing. I'm much more into this sort of thing. And there are efficiency losses with this and that. So this is where I guess the, the, the designer is important. Yeah. It's so obvious to me now. Like buying a more efficient one. If you want to buy an EV and you want an efficient one, yeah. you got, people think, a lot of people just think an EV is an EV and just go out and buy one. And then they get a Polestar 2 and they're wondering why it's quite expensive. <laughs> well, I'm not saving that much money over having a petrol car. Well, are you on the right tariff? Are you tariff? On, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well, yeah, there's other, other components. Yeah, and it's, it's making sure that if you do it all, that you're on you know, the right tariff mm. and the, uh, you get the right thing sorted for you. It's... Especially as uh, this is something again that's worth watching the previous video for when he's men uh, heatable was mentioning yeah. the difference in prices. He said the panels are really cheap right now, mm. so I think he said it was about fifty sixty pound more per panel, which is for yours over my new like the yeah. new version of my equivalent and the budget panels. It's the scaffolding and like the labour uh, yeah. that's, that's expensive. So you might as well spend that little bit extra on the panels. You're going to pay extra for the system designer. Yeah, I would yeah. expect that. Um, so, but it's a complete. It's, it's it's the whole package, isn't it? Yeah. So, how much more then did you spend on yours compared to an off-the-shelf, we'll call it, solar fixed-price sort of it thing? It wasn't a massive amount. I mean, with what I got, anywhere between a grand to a grand and a half. Three, I reckon, three or four hundred quid a year if I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a better designed array, should we yeah. put? So that's what four or five years. Yeah, it's, going to, it's going to break even, and after that, I've got 20 yeah. years of, of saving more. Yeah. And that's that. don't read into that too much, because that's that's just off, kind of top of that's the head. That's man maths. Thing. That's man maths. <laughs> but I, I genuinely would go back in time and go for a better design system, more expensive panels, maybe different inverters perhaps. Yeah. You look online, like when you get your car insurance, yeah. and you get the cheapest. Well, cheapest isn't best. I didn't do that this time I got car insurance. 
I didn't go for the cheapest. I went for the one that was like three or four down because it had, I could ring somebody up if I wanted to. I didn't have to do it just online. So, service. Exactly. If you get, I mean, I've had a claim before. Yeah. Uh, and it went through no problems at all, where if I'd have gone with the cheap insurers, maybe yeah. I'd have had a lot of battling to, to pay out for what was a stolen car. Again, yeah. to, to use the car analogy, it's like saying, well, give me another 1,500 quid, sir, and I'll turn that 50 miles to gallon car into a 60 miles to gallon car. Yeah, yeah. And over because time, I do a lot of miles, so that's going to save gonna me a save lot of money. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be, you know, you're, you're the degradation, remember, we're basing this on brand new stuff. Yeah. If we did this in 10 years' time, 15 years' time, you'd be even further ahead. Well, you would be, yeah. You know what, it's jeans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to replace my jeans every two or three years because I just bought the cheapest crap I could find. Yeah, yeah. Ever since I went to Levi's and I was a YouTuber. If they want to, I do a uh, <laughs> sponsorship. Sponsorship. <laughs> but it, it, it is, isn't it? It's buy it shite, buy it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These will last me for years. Yeah, they will, So yeah. even though they're more expensive, ultimately it's a better value. The cost per day. Cost per day. Once we get into the winter, I can't wait to see. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't want to in some respects. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, you had a lot of people asking you, didn't you? Oh, Fully charged yeah, life yeah. in the north. I, 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 I think that's the only thing I talk to people about. <laughs> and there's a, uh, there's a, uh, a lovely guy who uh, I keep meeting at my daughter's school. Right. He's interested in coming up and having a look. And you've had neighbours as well, haven't you? Oh, yeah, you've yeah, had solar panels. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, heat will build are doing very well, are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, you're not even sponsored. <laughs> I am. What's the best value? Not the cheapest, not the, cheapest, the best no. value. And why I didn't do it for solar, I don't know. Um, I guess maybe you just think I can afford that. I'll get it now. But yeah, yeah. You know, there's a bit of that I could get one today. Yeah. When you're going online looking at stuff, sometimes it puts me off if I have to ring them up or have to talk. It's like I don't want a, some sales, sales guy pitch. to ring me yeah. up. And somebody up turned up at my house trying to sell me double glazing, mm. and then. <laughs> but, but I guess what we're saying is you have to. Yeah. Because yeah. no one's going to come up and say this is the best for your house. Without at least having the details, the details of, your house, of it, yeah. Without knowing, you know, everything, even physically visiting it. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with budget stuff. No, no. It's I'm a, happy it, with my array. I just yeah. have a bit of array, array envy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yours is smaller and does more. It's not. It's not the size. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the innuendos in there. <laughs> Do more research. Ultimately, heatable.co.uk. They've got an online Get in touch tool. With them. And yeah, whoever you use. Just, again, three quotes. And say, that EV man told me. Yeah, drop drop the name, please, because then, you know, look good, look good. <laughs> uh, but to be yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for becoming a member of the channel. Oh, for 99p, that's sweet. the best value of all. It is. Especially as now actual members-only videos are going up one, two, three times a week on top of the normal. These are never going to go on the normal channel. So you are actually getting something for it. Good enough for no, 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 no. <laughs> Surprisingly, no, no. you can get away with more when you pay yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, it, 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 it helps the channel out and I appreciate that. And uh, thanks for watching. So cheers. yeah, cheers. Thank thanks you. guys, bye.